how much fuel does a vehicle consume. Around the world, this figure has, until now, been calculated using the NEDC test. From autumn 2017, a new test cycle for measuring consumption, the WLTP, will start. This measurement process named Worldwide Harmonized Light Duty Vehicles Test Procedure represents the average daily driving behavior according to modern standards. For the WLTP, driving data and statistical surveys from around the world were gathered. Based on this data, the WLTP has redefined specific parameters. Most importantly, the distance to be driven and the duration of the test. The speed profile is also new, both in terms of average and the maximum speeds. Based on this profile, the WLTP derives four specific phases – extra high, high, medium and low speeds. Speed, duration and distance form the core of the WLTP, but it also incorporates other aspects such as driving dynamics. These include braking actions, stop times and acceleration phases. Even rolling and air resistance as well as all available engine gearbox combinations are considered. Optional equipment also affects the weight of a vehicle. So the WLTP also takes into account any of these. To ensure that consumption measurements are comparable, the test conditions have to be replicable. For this reason, the measurements take place on a dynamometer according to international standards. Here, day-to-day -day driving is simulated and the average consumption is calculated for every model and every variant anywhere in the world. With the WLTP, consumption figures come out higher than before because this procedure shows more realistically how much a vehicle really consumes in daily driving. The WLTP, starting in autumn 2017.